Hey guys and gals, welcome to this week's pre-foreclosure daily grind tip of the week. Chris the Drummer Bowles, Bob LaChance. Um, this week we have some great tips. Uh, but before we get into that, check out our FinerSolution.com small business workspace. Email marketing, social media, it's got the whole nine yards for any small business, real estate obviously included. Um, but anyway, let's talk Chris about, we've had a, a very interesting week. Uh, one, it, a deal we closed on yesterday with Chase. And there, there's some there's some cool takeaways and kind of interesting thing that just happened with that one. Mm -hmm. It was just closed yesterday, and also uh, we've had this happen a couple times lately. Understanding uh, difficult sellers and how to deal with them, and this is really really important. We're going to get into uh, a couple things in reference to updated docs and which lenders require updated docs and how many times along the short sale process they actually require these docs. But I'm gonna let Chris just hammer these in here. He's got some great points here. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, obviously a lot of us and uh, a lot of our short sales are going to have like those, you know, like lazy or uncooperative sellers. Really? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, what we obviously need to understand, it's, it's important to try to um, thoroughly understand where they're coming from. Um, and right off the bat, you know, a lot of these sellers are probably in a position where they've already been trying for several months to do either a loan mod or maybe a short sale. and because of either lack of, of knowledge of how to do it or, or resources, they probably failed and they're probably blaming it on the lender. Yeah. You or know. expectations up front were, were, you know, up here where they shouldn't have been up here. Right. right. And so, you know, no, a few of the sellers that we, we've we been working with the last couple of weeks on newer files we've gotten, that's essentially where they've come from. Right. And, you know, I've had to ask them for updated documents and uh, they've gotten angry. And yeah. at the end There's some dude that called me <laughs> off is just pissed off and they're like, all right, Chris, you can take this one. Right, exactly. So, um, you know, just, just knowing that, that that's probably where they're coming from and to expect that if that is in fact the case. Um, you know, Bob mentioned Chase. Chase is one of the lenders. You know, you want to make sure as you're going through the process, uh, you know, or actually well, well, from the beginning, I'm sorry, that you, you tell these sellers, listen, as we go are going through the process, you know, the lenders such as Chase, Bank of America, um, another one recently we dealt with is Astoria. You know, they're going to ask for information from you, not only at the beginning, but throughout the process. Make sure that, you know, you, you, we want to make sure you know that and you have that stuff handy and ready to go so that when we ask, it's not a surprise. Yeah. And a rule of thumb is typically they'll require certain documents to be updated maybe two to three times within the whole short sale process. Right, exactly. So this is obviously how, you know, you can go about you know, working to prevent this, and, and again, just understand where these sellers are coming from, that, you know, they've, they've been going through this for several months, they've been, this has been dragging on, some of them may be 12 months in default, and been dealing with collection calls for 12 months, yeah. I don't know about you, but I would not be in a good mood after that, so. Yeah. And uh, finally, when they come to our, see, this is already set up prior to coming to us, so it's our job at that point to educate them exactly what the process, how many times we need those updated docs, like bank statements, pay stubs if they're employed, if they're unemployed, unemployment statements, so on and so forth. But those are the main documents that they typically need to get updated copies of their, uh, did I say bank statements? I think so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so those are the things that they need. Um, and, and we want to have the sellers on board because, you know, obviously the sellers need to be around to sign off, you know, closing, sign the HUD, sign the approval letter, sign whatever else, and, uh, and provide those docs. And if they don't do that, then no matter how hard everyone else works, no matter how good of an offer we have. We don't get paid. Agents don't get paid. Title companies, attorneys, nobody gets paid. Right. Period. And the happen. seller doesn't get helped out. Right. Um, all right, Chris, let's talk about Chase, the deal we closed yesterday. Well, this is an interesting one. And, and I noticed, you know, it's so funny because, you know, we've done so many short sales. We've done hundreds over the last, you know, six, seven years that uh, one item one bit of information that is always, always, always on every short sale approval letter is the wire or uh, overnight instructions. And you yep. would think, you would think, of all bits of information... We got one right here with nothing. <laughs> you would think that that would be the one thing that every lender would always, always want to have on there because, hey, we want to make sure you send our money to the right place. So we've been trying to get a hold of this negotiator, trying to get a hold of anybody within Chase right now, and we're still battling to get those overnight instructions. Yeah, which they're obviously backlogged. I mean, I, you know, I've been dealing with them every day for the last however long so I mean I know this I know their status but it's just interesting because now we're here we are we closed this thing up yesterday as Bob said and we don't know where to send the money so this <laughs> office this is a short sale acceptance letter from which office is this coming from this is from the uh, Chase's Ohio Ohio branch. office so make sure you guys um, get all over that right away yeah um, and 
that's it, right? Yeah. Just gotta, just gotta work. Just gotta it. keep battle. <laughs> anyway, check out FinerSolution.com. Again, our, our small business workspace, second to none. Awesome. It'll help you save money and make money all in one. Great for a small business. Chris, the drummer, Bowes, Bob, a chance getting back with this week's pre-foreclosure tip of the week.